Here's the Cambridge Endo's advanced laparoscopic training system. The training system consists of the baseboard and the two trocar posts, which simulate the skin incision points. The baseboard has the built-in peg transfer module. The surgeon can practice the basics of the autonomy instrument by moving the pins around the holes. The training system includes the rope module for threading the rope through eyelets in various angles. The training system also includes the circle cutting and suturing modules. The surgeon can practice precise circle cutting or suturing and knot tying with this module. Notice the bottom of the baseboard. It has four suction cups for feet. By pressing down the baseboard on top of a smooth surface, the training system can be securely mounted for ease of use. With the autonomy dissector, grasper, or needle holder, the surgeon can practice the basic manipulation of autonomy by moving the pins around. Try to grab the pins from various angles and also flip the pins using the rotation knob as you transfer the pin from one hole to the other. Practice with the angle locking mechanism, both locked and unlocked. With the autonomy dissector or grasper and a rigid assist device, practice threading the rope through the eyelets. Notice the eyelets are in random angles. Utilize autonomy's wrist articulation to achieve the optimal approach angle. With the autonomy dissector, grab the middle of the circle pattern. With the autonomy scissor, precisely cut around the circle pattern. Utilize autonomy's wrist articulation to achieve the optimal cutting angle. With the autonomy needle holder and a rigid assist device, practice needle management, needle driving and knot tying. Try picking up the needle off the suture pad at a right angle. Once the needle is loaded at a right angle, orient the needle in the desired direction and lock the angle. Drive the needle through the desired path utilizing the rotation knob. Notice how the wrist articulation enhances knot tying by making the looping of the suture easy.